In general, when starting these projects, the team and I get uh, sort of core concepts from Miyazaki. Uh, this time, you know, it wasn't just boss battle music, like our previous titles, but we had to think about the general open field background music, the enemy suspicion music, and also there's a, the larger element of the story this time. We had to think about individual theme songs for each character. So we built the backbone of a lot of the boss battle music off of those key character themes. My initial reaction was, seeing as this is a game set in Japan, well, it was very exciting, but it was also very challenging. Compared to our older titles, which used a lot of kind of regal fantasy, or very grandiose orchestral or choiral elements, this time it was obviously set in Japan, set in Sengoku. Uh, this is very bloody period of conflict. And so we had to think about a lot more wildness to the nature of the tracks and the composition. So this provided, at the same time, a lot of new stimulus and a lot of new challenges. So obviously, there is no correct answer for this. It varies person to person. But what I personally like to do is to just start with a sound. You just need to kind of make a sound to kick everything off and to kick everything into gear. This time, the themes that we were given weren't just Japan, it was thinking about the Sengoku period, this period of war and conflict, thinking about the specific culture, which is sort of an esoteric Buddhist approach to the religious aspects of Japan. And so all of that needed a sort of backbone and a base, and for that I chose to use a wadaiko, which is sort of a large Japanese drum. So I just hit the drum and I used this as a bass line for all of my initial composition. So mostly our composition in the past has used the computer. I like to use DST instruments as my kind of main tool. But this time, being a Japanese title, we used a lot of live recording of Japanese instruments, including a Japanese flute called the Shinobue. And also, obviously, instruments we've used in the past for Dark Souls and such, like violin, cello, vocals, things like that. Those also became elements of the composition. Do you play those instruments yourself? Yeah, I played the violin, cello, and used my own voice. The flute was played by another instrumentalist. That must make the game feel so personal, whatever you play, because it's like, oh, I remember singing that, I remember playing that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit strange and fun for me, but also when I play it for my family, they say, oh, really, you made this part. What's it like working with external partners on the soundtrack then? Is that much different from what you've done in the past? It's really interesting working with external composers as well. For Bloodborne, we had this approach. For the Dark Souls series, we worked with Sakuroba-san. And for Sekiro as well, we have this collaborative composition. And it's really interesting, while we're making music for games, they have a unique take on it as well and they provide new stimulus, and they provide a different level of warmth for the melody, or a different bass line, or a different drum beat that can help us reflect our own ideas. So, of course, being a game set in Japan with these brand new themes, it was quite refreshing at first, but as I thought about it, it began to feel like it was quite restricting. You know, we have to make a more emotive score, or something that is just Japanese-flavored without too much of that Western influence from our previous titles. Uh, eventually though, as I began working, it kind of came into its own. I began to find a lot of new ways to express myself with this kind of Japanese styling. So eventually it did become very refreshing and provided a lot of new stimulus. So of course, to summarize the score, so obviously while focusing on Japan, we're thinking of Sengoku, we're thinking of the battlefield of war, and this isn't kind of like a noble knight in shining armor battlefield. This is, this is a really gritty, really horrible, mud-streaked, blood-soaked battlefield. So we had to think of it in terms of this period of ruin and despair, but at the same time exploring elements of this ancient Japanese beauty the sort of time-honored tradition and religious aspects also came into the music. So pairing this with this sort of bloody, gritty battlefield is one of the ways in which it's added breadth to the whole soundtrack. So I really hope everyone looks forward to it. I've put a lot of my thoughts and memories into this music. It's really easy to just summarize it as Japanese or Sengoku, but the composition and the pieces really do speak to each individual situation. So if the users can even get a slight sense of that, then I will be so happy.